It was a regular Friday. We decided to go to Giant Eagle just for doing shopping. She had to use the restroom again. When I got there and opened up the stall, she just fell to the ground, just didn't even try to catch herself. Uh, about three o'clock, you get a phone call from my mother-in-law, almost like it wasn't really happening. You know, they had to use the AED on her. They tried to do uh, CPR, it wasn't working. I called out for help. There was a woman, Tiffany, she was from the deli. She came and was doing the compressions. And then there was another woman, Sarah, calling out and telling me when I should take the rescue breaths. They ended up getting um, an AED and asking me if they could place an honor. And I said, yes, and they did it. And she started to cry and I think everybody started to cry. And the paramedics were already there. They loaded her up. So I went directly to Akron Children's. And honestly, if you saw her two hours after the incident, you wouldn't know anything different. She was laughing, you know, we were reading, you know, watching Spongebob on TV. It's CPVT, it's um, catechopolylaminergic ventricular tachycardia, and it could be a lethal heart arrhythmia, and it's triggered by adrenaline or um, emotional stress. And she does take medication every day, and she also has um, the implanted device as a fail-safe just in case. She has the ability to ride her bike, still runs around. Obviously, our, our day to day is a little bit different, you know, a little bit more medicine, a little bit less. You can't fight with your brother all the time like that. I mean, she, she likes to mess with them. There's no question there. Out of my other sister, my stepsister, we're definitely the closest. I mean, I spend most of my time with her. I was coming out of school. It was probably the last week of school. I got the call from my grandmother and she just sounded frantic. Like I just ran through all the possibilities that could have happened and not being able to see her face again would have killed me. I mean, I hope she has a family of her own. I hope nothing like this happens to her or her children. I'd love to see her play sports if she's allowed. I hope we stay close as the uh, years pass by. Obviously the mission is one of the best out there. The research, the support, you know, the benefits the American Heart Association brings other people and, and not necessarily in our situation, but as a whole, as in the country, you have to donate. You have to be able to put it above yourself because as, I mean, there was no way for us to be prepared for this. And, you know, God bless, we were very thankful to come out of it in the best case scenario, but a lot of people, it goes the other direction. I'm the type of person where I would think nothing like this would ever happen to me. And the fact that it happened makes me more aware to think that the American Heart Association is trying to put this out there, that this could happen to anybody and everybody needs to be aware of hands-only CPR and where an AED is located, I think it's amazing that they're bringing that awareness to people.